We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, it's that time again. And of course, that thing is our quarterly wing thing. So we've got 15 sauces this time out, nine of them are from the hot ones. And we've got duplicate sauces from four manufacturers this time around. So a lot of stuff that's a little unusual for some of these wing things. Trying some new stuff out this year. You guys saw close-ups of all the uh, bottle labeling, so we can check that out. All right, so we're gonna start with Schlotzky's. And I guess we might as well just use this up. All right, so this, this is just a uh, straight Louisiana style cayenne sauce, and that uh, that's going to be a uh, dead soldier at the conclusion of this video, of course. There's nothing left in there. All right, next we have from Andrew Tippy Dippy Green. Really fun sauce. I like this one quite a bit. Right, throw that in there. It doesn't. Strike me as a wing sauce per se, but I, I do enjoy it. It is, it's a very, very nice, funny, fun sauce, very enjoyable. All right. We also have the High River Rogue, another, another pretty nifty sauce. I like this one's a neat one too. It's a, I'm looking forward to this, this uh, wing thing, I'm gonna be honest here, because there's a lot of sauces here that I, I'm really excited to try here, and I'm hoping that I'll I'll get some favorable stuff here, but we shall see. Let our taste buds do the deciding. Okay, so we have here Gindo's Blood Orange Ghost. Another very, very nice sauce. And this one is also going to be a uh, Fallen Soldier at the conclusion of this video. And hopefully I have enough to get on too. So it's going to be a little really close with this one. Usually I'll save up a bunch of sauces. This time I actually didn't have enough saved. Whatever is in the packets is however many sauces I do, as long as it's at least 10. And this one, sometimes it's more. This one happened to be 15. Get too many more, and it's hard to fit all the sauces inside the camera, as you probably have detected. All right, this one here is Bravado Ghost Pepper Blueberry. Unless I really like it on this, on these wings, this one will not be joining us for any future installments either. Okay, we have an actual wing sauce, an actual wing sauce. Most of these appear on the blog, which you can check out uh, through the link in the description below, but. This one has a wing sauce. I only do hot sauces in that in the blog. This one's the actual wing sauce. The first time I've had an actual wing sauce uh, for this. Although this one, I will say, I did shoot a video of. As you can see, I like this one quite a bit. Uh, this one, we're gonna we're gonna pop this upside down. This is a very very thick. I think I probably have enough on there, but I might I might add some more. It, it, it's a really good sauce. I, I like that one a lot. All right. From there, we're going to go to Uncle Keith's Code Red. This one, as uh, you may remember from the review, if you read it, if not, go read it, is one that I got because I didn't have all the letters of the alphabet. I was missing you. So you were the last 
the letter of the alphabet that I wound up doing. In case anyone is interested in arcane blog trivia for whatever reason. All right. This one here is Angry Goat Dark Swizzle. I hadn't meant to put this in here, but I happen to have a lot of wings. <laughs> so it'd be good to give it a try, see what it's all about, see how it goes. I will say that starting with Uncle Keith, so these first, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So the first six are not particularly high in heat. It's not till we get to the Uncle Key, so we start to we start to get some heat going. Okay, Bravado Black Garlic Carolina Reaper, uh, also from the Hot Ones. This is the first sauce I think I really really like from them, and this bottle is definitely I'm trying really hard not to eat it, so I can have it for future uh, future installments as well. But it is uh, I like this sauce a lot. It's uh, got maybe a third of it left. Okay, so from there we're going to go to the Adobo Loco Kulahe Kid. Which somehow just keeps hanging in there. It's, it's not a sauce I really like on anything else, but I do, I do kind of find it okay on wings. Alright, Kulahe Kid, okay. I'm splash some of the Kola Hay Kid on my Kola Hay hands here. Okay. Next up we have the Torchbearer Headless Horseradish. And... This one I think I probably have... I'm going to say maybe one more. Go around here. Yeah, probably probably one more one more installment of this, and then that one's finished. Definitely like this sauce. It's a very very it's an interesting sauce. I will say that very interesting. Okay, uh, Thunder Juice, Thunder Juice, Juice from High River, making its way here. Very very interesting sauce. And it's another one, kind of like Dark Swizzle. I just, I'm not entirely 100% sure what to make of those sauces. I do like this one. They, I will say this, High River makes really fascinating stuff. I love experimentalism. I do love that in, in the foods. Okay, so what do we got? Let's save that one for that. Okay, so we've got here, uh, hot Ones, an actual Hot Ones sauce, not on the show, not on the show, but it is the brain burner, and this sauce is a lot better than I had any right to expect it would be, <laughs> especially after I had the Eye of Scorpion, which I really disliked. This is, a, this is a fun sauce, flavorful sauce. Check out the review for that one. I, I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I'll just put it, let me put it that way. Short, sweet, and to the point. Did I get enough on here? I don't think I did. Some of these sauces get a little sticky together y and they don't always like to cooperate. This is this being one of them. Oops, there we go. Alright. There we go. Uh, also from a double loco hamajang. I'm gonna have a hammer, I'm gonna have a jing. Okay. We'll see if I like this one as well as I like the Cola Hay Kid. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I like that. I, I think I did. I think I did like that one. I'm trying to remember. It's. The, uh, the Adobo Loco stuff, I think, is, it, it, it's really, really interesting to me. I said that about a lot of these sauces. Interesting is not always a great thing. This one in particular, here we go, Carver Burn After Eating. Number nine, hottest sauce we have in the lineup, according to the ranking 
on the show. And look at this. Ah, can't. It's like a paste. It's like, I need to get a shovel here. Here we go. That, that is a pain. I don't like that part of that sauce. It, it just look, I mean, it's like sitting here like ketchup. I gotta, gonna massage the wing, massage it, massage that wing. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's get that out of here. Just have a nice bowl. Okay, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the Schlotzky's. A sauce I found highly favorable. Excellent. I saw there was a uh, Shalaski's in Albuquerque when I went down for the Fiery Food Show this year. And I almost swung in just to get myself another bottle of that. I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, really enjoyed that. All right. Very nice. Very nice. The Angry Goat. Hippie Dippie Green. A beautiful sauce. Excellent. Yep, still like that one. All right, we're two for two. Ah, swinging for the fences, boys! Lords and ladies. All right, so we have here, this is the Rogue. Very nice. Mm, yeah. Such a such a good sauce. Very novel. Mm, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Wow, we are three for three. All right. You know. Blood Orange Ghost, and there's not enough of this worth keeping, so let's just throw that little few drops back in there. Look at that. I'm already dabbing. I'm last dabbing. I'm not supposed to, probably. I'm not following the rules, but I'm not on the show, am I? All right. Oh, man. Yeah. What a great sauce. Gindos is a dynamo. It's really, really good. Four for four, can you believe it? All right, here's where we're in trouble though. This is the Bravado Ghost Pepper Blueberry. Surprisingly, it's not bad here. Huh? Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say five for five. I did not expect to say that. It's fascinating to me that this application of wings is one where a lot of sauces like the Kolei Kid that I didn't really enjoy anywhere else, where they actually kind of shine. I'm surprised by that. All right, the Peach Carolina Reaper wing sauce, the only wing sauce in our competition. Competition. <laughs> the only, the only, hmm, <laughs> the only wing sauce in our wing thing. This is good. Whoever is doing the private selection sauces is doing a really nice job. Overall. 
Really good. Yep, I dig this one. Ever six for six. I know. Has that ever happened? Quick, go back and look through my other wing things. See if it's ever happened. We've gotten to number six, and I've liked everything. Crazy. All right. Here we go. Uncle Keith, Code Red. Yeah. It's fine. I like the sauce, but I'm real iffy on it here. Real iffy. And my fingers are all sticky from that private selection stuff. All right. Moving along. Angry Goat Dark Sizzle. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, a hit of rum is a nice touch. All right, for sure seven of eight, maybe eight of eight. Still going back on that Uncle Keys. Going back and forth on that. Bravado, bravado, ghost. No, Carolina Reaper. What the hell is it? Black garlic, Carolina Reaper. It's uh interesting. I really thought I would like that one better than I did. That one's another maybe. All right, the Kohei kid from a double Oka. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Are we up to 10? This is 10 right here. The Torchberry Headless Horseradish. Or is this 11? No, that was 10. The late kid was 10. Well. I mean, nothing I've outright hated so far. That itself is kind of novel. <laughs> this creamy change of pace. This is really the best way to do wings, I think. I just have all these random sauces and stuff. All right. High River. Thunder Juice. That does not work for me. That's a definite miss. Oh, that's, that's pretty good though. We got all the way up to 11. No, 12. This is, see that was seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Yeah, we got all the way up to 12 before I had one that I really didn't like. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, this is the Hot Ones Brain Burner. Definitely getting some good heat going now, I will, I will say. <clears throat> That's a neat sauce. I like this. Bunchy, though. I should have had this and not I the Scorpion on the show. Sauce is so much better. All right. Nice. Okay. The Double Loco Hamajang. Uh. All right, here we go. 
object. Very punchy. Ah, wow. That was nice and baggy. I did it. Only one so far that I've absolutely not liked. Surprisingly, the thunder juice. Okay. And ending with Karma's bird after eating. Already way ahead of you guys. <laughs> it's like having this dipped in marinara. Weird. I don't think I like that one. I mean, it's definitely punchy, but I wouldn't use marinara sauce on wings, so um, that's a miss for me. So, uh, we got some stuff here. All right. Okay. Everything here is good. Schlotzies is good. Angry Goat Hippy Dippy Rogue. Gindo's Blood Orange Ghost. Surprisingly, Bravado Ghost Pepper Blueberry. The Private Selection Wing Sauce. Angry Goat Dark Swizzle. Double Loco. Cole A Kid. The uh, Torch Bear Headless Heart Trash. And Hot Ones Brain Burner. So that is. 10 sauces that I liked, that I thought they were all good. These three are maybes. They're, they're kind of amethion. Uncle Keith's Code Red, Bravado Black Garlic Reaper, and Adobo Loco Hamajang. I'm, I'm kind of up in the air on those. Two I did not like were the Thunder Juice and the Karma Burn After Eating. I like the sauces, I don't like them in this application. So. Thunder juice won't be coming back. Burn after eating, um, I'm almost inclined to use it somewhere else. It is fiery. No question about it. You know, maybe I'll, I don't know. We'll see. Come back. Come back in quarter two. We'll find out together. I'm kind of up in the air. I just, it's so thick, it's a pain, and it gets all over everything. It's messy, and it's hard to use in this application. But... It's kind of weird that I like this sauce, I just don't like it here, so, uh, but yeah, uh, two-thirds of them I thought were really good. Three of them on the fence on, so a fifth of them on this fence on, and, uh, these two were just not ones that I enjoyed particularly here, so, but, uh, there it is. Quarter one, 2022, win thing in the can. Very fun, definitely encourage everybody to do this. This, this is a really neat way of experiencing multiple sauces. Having a lot of fun and uh, trying out the stuff. So, that, I mean, there's a reason that the Hot Ones is so successful because it's a really cool format. And I definitely encourage you guys to, to try that out. So maybe next time around we'll have 10. 10 Hot Ones sauces. Who knows? Not me. Tune in next time and uh, which will be at the end of quarter two. We'll find out together. And now, go forth in peace to serve the flame.